Welcome back to my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, like, comment, and share. Thank you. Hi YouTube, this is Betty and welcome back to my channel. I am here to share with you guys a guest design team project for Scrap Diva Designs. Um, Erica, who is Scrap Diva 29 here on YouTube. I'm sure a lot of you are already familiar with Erica and the great dyes um, that she sells. Here is her information right here, scrapdivadesigns.com. Here is her Instagram and her YouTube if you guys are not familiar with her. I will have a link to her store below so you guys can pick up some goodies. And I'm sure you're going to find something that you want to pick up. So just use my coupon code BETTY10 to save 10% um, off your order of 20 or, or more. So make sure you use the coupon code for some savings. The dies that I'm sharing today, I will leave a link below so you guys can just click on the link and locate that item quickly and purchase if you like. All right, this is also uh, my project share for Die Hard Wednesday. This is a collab that I'm doing with my good friend, Markeisha, who is Sweet Papery Treasures. We come on every other Wednesday and we share projects with you guys using our fun dies. Now, I know today is Thursday. We had to make some adjustments. So we are here today um, to share with you. We will be coming on at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time every other Wednesday. Um, so check us out. We have a playlist uh, for this collab as well as the other collabs that we're doing together. So make sure you check all of the information below uh, for the playlist. I will also have a link to Markeisha's channel um, below. All right, so let's just get started and let me share with you real quickly the fun dies from Scrap Diva Designs that I played with this go around. So I played with the shabby pinwheel, super cute. And then I also played with the regular pinwheel. I also pulled out this die right here. This is the Spring and Easter Borders. And the border I decided to play with this go around is the Cute Butterfly Border. This is the paper I decided to pull out and play with. Um, this is by Mente and it's called Kitty. And I think this is a really pretty paper collection. I've had it for quite some time and I decided to go ahead and just pull it out. Um, you know, most of you think maybe you, you have to use this for a baby album or for baby projects, but we are crafters and we can make anything look cute and for any occasion. So that's what I decided to play with for my project share. This is what I created. This is called a matchbook and I'm participating in a group swap. I have not participated in a group swap in so long. And I decided to go ahead and participate in a group swap that Geneva, who is purposely crafting the divine intervention, she's hosting. And I decided to play along. So this swap is called the Matchbook Card Making Kit Swap. And everyone is to follow a tutorial by BB's Crafts on how to put the matchbook together. I will leave a link to uh, Brittany's channel so you guys can check out her tutorial and create one for yourself. So this is what I came up with. Uh, we have to make three and receive three, but I'm going to make one for the host. I have one of these cute little um, kites here that says, hello, friend. And um, the paper is so pretty that I didn't want to do a lot of layering on top of it or anything like that. So I decided to just add some elements, you know, just to accent the beauty of the paper. So I added this kite and that's by Anna Griffin. And then the flower in the cute little bunny's hair, I decided to add some seed bead and some stickles to bring out the flower in the little bunny's hair. And then I also played with some Nuvo drops just to accent the cute little boot the little pocket on the cute little mice there. And also um, I added another sticker here that says create art on the cute little wheelbarrow or um, 
wagon <laughs> that the little kitty and the mice is in. And then I added a button there and then some more Nuvo drops. So you can take um, papers like this that has a lot of beautiful images on them and just accent it. And it will come out really, really cute. And just let the paper do the work. I also added some stickles on the cute little uh, mice nose there and also on the cute little bunny's nose. So I think this is adorable. Um, I really love it. It's so soft and so pretty. We have to include a dangle on our project. So this is the one that I created uh, for mine. I have a eyelet here to house my um, dangle. Then let me share with you um, the inside. So here's the inside and we're gonna include our card kits in the inside of here. And then you can see the dies and work here. That is the Easter borders, Easter and spring borders um, by Scrap Diva Designs. I love how it accented the inside of this matchbook. So cute, I love the butterflies. And I just used some colored card stock um, to match the pattern paper. And I love the paper, it's so pretty. So that's the inside. And then here's the back of it. And look at that beautiful paper, you guys. I love this paper, it's so pretty. So that's the back of it. So this is my uh, matchbook. And I have to make three more, <laughs> but I've decided to go ahead and get started. So let me share with you these beautiful pinwheels that I made. So this is the shabby pinwheels. I'm using the die that I share by Scrap Diva Designs. This is how they turned out. I decided to just leave mine with the bread in the inside because I love to be able to move it and manipulate it if you have to. So I just left it like that. This is what it looks like on the back. So I just I just love how that, you know, you can just move it. If it's not where you want it, you can adjust it. And I went with um, colored cardstock that complements my matchbook. And I love how these turned out. They're super cute. And here's one that I didn't use the accent piece. So the dies, let me share with you the dies. Here's the shabby pinwheel, and it comes with, you know, this one, and then this one is a layering piece, so you lay it on top of that. So that's what I did with these three. Just layered them up. This is what it looks like without the layer. It's still really pretty without putting a layer on it. So those are the shabby pinwheels, and here are the pinwheels I made. I just went to town um, cutting everything out because in the swap, we are to create... Uh, four sets of embellishments uh, for everyone in the swap. So these pinwheels were so fun to put together. I decided to just go ahead and put these together for my swap partners. Again, I went with colored card stock that complements um, the matchbook. And this is how they turned out. Um, I may include like the little stick if, if my partners want to Put the stick on it but i chose not to in case they want to use these for something else and not have the stick on it also i decided to just leave the bread in there so that it can be manipulated and adjusted you know as needed and my partners can adjust those and they can decorate it up you know further if they choose now for these dies you have um some of them they also have one die that has the stitching let me share that with you so this is the die set again, and this pinwheel comes with the stitching, and then you get two without. These dies here that you can use in the center of your pinwheel, I didn't use that, okay? So this is how it looks with the stitching, and this is what it looks like without the stitching. So pretty, you guys, they're so pretty. That is my share for you guys today. If you like what I created, don't forget to like the video to help my videos out. And I would love for you to become a part of my YouTube channel. Just hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. 
um, so that you can be notified when I upload a video. Don't forget to check out Markeisha as well as Erica and uh, visit her store and pick up some fun dyes and make sure to use the coupon code. I'm also on Instagram. I forget to mention that a lot of times. I'll leave a link below so you guys can check me out on Instagram as well. And until next time, make sure you always create with love and passion. Bye.